is it going AP Psych class? Welcome back for another AP Psych review video. In today's video, we are going to focus on the types of questions that you might see pop up on the FRQ portion of the AP Psych test. And we are also going to take more of an in-depth look at the application portion of the Chug Sodas acronym. If you are unaware of this acronym, it is just a guideline on how to properly format your FRQ. I go over each letter in a previous video. You can find a link to that video in the description box. It was a messy one. Anyways, as a rater for the AP Psych test, I found that more times than not, students end up losing points on the FRQ because they are not properly applying the term to the prompt. So, let's get started. The AP Psych test has two sections, the multiple choice section and the FRQs. You are going to have 70 minutes to answer 100 multiple choice questions and 50 minutes to answer two free response or FRQ questions. The multiple choice portion of the exam is about 66% of your final score, while the FRQs will be about 33% of your final score. Now your guess is going to be as good as mine when it comes to what specific terms will show up on the FRQs. But there are some things that we know about the questions ahead of time that can help us prepare. When taking a look at the good old course and exam description for AP Psychology, the College Board tells us the main theme of each question. FRQ1 will be concept application. This question will assess your ability to explain behavior as well as apply the various theories and perspectives we have talked about throughout the course. This question is basically going to measure your ability to recall the definitions to various concepts, theories, and definitions, as well as appropriately applying these to the prompt. So let's take a look at a hypothetical concept application FRQ. It is the night of the school talent show. Billy has been practicing for months to make sure his performance is on point. While he is super excited for the show, he is also very nervous. So you see you have your initial prompt with Billy going to the talent show. Then you're going to have the terms that you have to apply to the prompt. So for this question, you would show understanding of each term by defining it and then applying it to the prompt. So if I were answering this FRQ question, I might go and say that social facilitation is the tendency for individual performance to increase while in the presence of others. Billy enjoys when all eyes are on him, so walking out to the large crowd only motivates him to perform even better increasing his performance. And there you have it. You just got your point. You properly defined the term and applied it to the given scenario in a clear and concise way. Don't waste your time writing anything else down for that term. Just skip a line and move on to the next. Now FRQ2 on the other hand is going to center around research design. This FRQ is going to test your ability to analyze psychological research studies as well as analyzing and interpreting qualitative data. Knowing that this FRQ will focus on research design is a huge advantage to you. With this information, you know how important it is to go back and review information from our first unit regarding research design. So these are going to be things like descriptive versus experimental design, independent variables, dependent variables, control variables, confounding variables, operational definitions, ethics and research, statistics and research, central tendency, standard of deviation, you know, all the fun stuff. So let's take a look at an example of a research design FRQ to give us a little bit of a better understanding on how to answer it. So unfortunately for Billy, he did not win the school talent show. Absolutely puzzled as to how his incredible performance did not clinch the top prize, he decides to start to investigate. He does so by handing out a survey to the first 50 students who walk into school, asking why they did not vote for Billy to win the talent show. At the end of the day, Billy collected all of the data and displayed it on a graph. So as you can see with our second FRQ question, it has a similar setup as FRQ1 with the prompt and multiple concepts, but these questions focus on your knowledge and application of how research is conducted as well as other important components of psychological research. This is going to be present in our example. 
We are tasked with analyzing a graph from a survey and identifying different components of the research. It is still important to do your best at applying and defining each term. So for example, we could say that confounding variables are any variable that is not being studied that if not controlled can interfere with the outcome of the study. A confounding variable in Billy's study could be that he did not randomly select the participants from his survey as he should have given every individual who is part of the population an equal opportunity to be surveyed not just those who arrived early. So again, it is still your basic define, apply, skip a line, next term routine, just more focused on research design. It is also important to note that FRQ2 does assess all three skill categories of concept understanding, data analysis, and scientific investigation. So it is not uncommon to see terms and concepts from other units included in this question. But remember, the main emphasis will be on research design. So for both FRQs, it is very important that you define and apply those terms. When defining, try and use your own words, and when applying, always be sure you are applying the term to the provided prompt. Something else that I recommend is going to the College Board website and taking a look at some of the previously released FRQs from the AP Psych Test. Here you can see the scoring guidelines as well as graded sample responses. It will also show you how to properly define and apply each term. You can use these to get a good idea of what type of response will get you a high score on the FRQ. All right, so that does it for me. Good luck on your AP test, and I will see you all later. Peace.